now. A crash victim could lose his leg after being hit in Norman by a woman police say was high. Yeah, the victim's family talked to News 9's Kaylee Bourgeois today. She has the story from the scene of the crime and discovered the suspect has a rap sheet. According to documents, this isn't the first time the suspect has done something like this. Jason Harrell got the call Monday. Uh, I got a call and they said that he was in an accident. He just get there as fast as I could. His son, Cody Harrell, was in the ICU after being pinned between two cars in a Norman crash. Looking at the vehicles, it, I was, it was a wonder he lived, you know, it was that bad. And the bad news kept coming. Cody may lose his leg thanks to the crash, a crash allegedly caused by repeat offender Don Rogers. It makes me angry. I've never been more angry in my life. Just, uh, it's pathetic, really. Rogers was arrested at the scene and charged with a DUI. A police report shows the suspect showed signs of being on drugs, particularly methamphetamine. And Rogers has been in trouble for drugs before. I mean, just to, to do this to a person, he's 27 years old and he's got a long life ahead of him. And more likely, it's a good chance that he could do this on one leg now. Hoping that won't happen, Jason and the family are raising money for Cody's medical bills on a GoFundMe page and praying another family doesn't have to go through this. This is the, the exact worst situation I've ever faced. Uh, just hopefully that someone else will take the time and, and not make the same mistake. There was a second victim in this crash. A man who was working on a ladder leaning against that pole. Reports say the ladder got knocked down and he suffered scrapes and cuts. On the scene, on the story in Norman, Kaylee Bourgeois, News.